Hey guys, in this video, we'll be looking at the sum aggregate function. Our scenario today is to bring back the total number of credits being done by each student. And so we'll have to get a bit creative here because in order to get this data, we'll need to see the student information. We'll see the course information because our courses table has the number of credits. And of course, all of that is combined within the enrollments table. So we'll need data from three different touch points in order to form our aggregate output. And so for me, ground zero is our enrollments table. So I select start from enrollments and then I start adding on what I need. So I know I want student details. So I'm just going to inner join the students table. All right, and having done that inner join on the students table, I know I'm going to also have to inner join the courses table. All right, now I have a full party on my hands. So we have data coming in from all three tables, enrollment, students, and courses. And now we can start filtering on what is most important for us to have a sensible output. So we want to see the total number of credits that each student is doing. So of course, we'll know we need the credit count. So C dot number of credits. And we'll also probably want the student name since we already in a join. So I'll just go ahead and fill in a column for the full name. All right, so I just amended my query to only bring back the number of credits and the student's full name. And of course we can just add pretty titles to those. Now, the next thing I want to do of course is to group. So I will just group by and what we want to group by is any column that we have included in our select. So I have to group by first name. I have to group by last name and I'll just copy and paste and amend. Let's put in the comma separation and I have to group by the number of credits. Now you see that this list has reduced because maybe Artemis is taking more than one three credit courses and so it's clumped them together in proper and true group by fashion. But the fact is that our work is not complete because what we want to do is find the total number of credits per student. And so we'll have to employ our aggregate function called sum, which actually says that for all of those that you're grouping, give me the total. So I can just wrap the number of credits inside sum. And if you were kicking and screaming when I included the number of credits down here in the group by, then you were right. So because we're about to do the aggregate on number of credits, I don't need to include number of credits in the group by. Actually, I shouldn't include it in the group by. And so this query will actually give me how many credits Jody is doing, how many credits Patro is doing, and et cetera, et cetera. And all of this is based on the enrollments table because the enrollments table is keeping track of which classes each one is doing. So the group by is just saying that each student, I'm grouping them and I am summing up the additional data, which in this case is the number of credits and I'm bringing back that total. And that is essentially how the sum aggregate function works. I hope you have fun with it and experiment with it. Bring up another scenario. The script file is already included with this video. And based on the data that you have or how you design your database, feel free to experiment and use it.